Love is a crazy thing. It's an emotion that one cannot control. It can be one of the greatest feelings, and it can be one of the most painful feelings. I am sure at some point you have experienced the emotions that come with love. Many men from all over the world come to Thailand and fall in love with the ladies that they meet here. There are also plenty of men that have fallen in love with a lady from their home country. I have been in both shoes. I have had serious relationships with women from the USA and had serious relationships with women from Thailand. So what are the differences? What are the similarities? Which is better? What culture should a guy seek out? I am not here to bash any culture or any girls in particular. There are many great things about dating American and Thai women. There are also many differences when it comes to dating these women, but there are some similarities too. Remember, everyone could have different opinions or experiences when it comes to dating. I am going to share with you the differences and similarities that I have noticed from my own personal experiences of dating American women and Thai women. So, let's dive right in. There is no time to beat around the bush. What happens when your significant other gets angry at you? Now, I'm not going to go into details on any specific situation, but let's just say that something has happened. A mild argument has broken out between the two of you. How do these girls handle things differently? From past experiences in America, the girls tend to get very angry. Their voices are usually raised. They will let you know exactly how they feel. They might be right. They might be wrong. It doesn't matter to them. They're going to make sure they get their point across to you before there is any chance of resolving the issue. My experiences in Thailand have been very different. If an argument does take place, the girl tends to shut down. When I say shut down, I mean she will not talk. You will get the silent treatment. You can try talking to them. They will listen, but they will not respond. She might just be laying there or playing with her phone, but not respond to you. Some guys might think that this is great. Some might not. The silent treatment can actually make a guy more upset because he does not know how the girl is feeling. Obviously, it's best not to have an argument, but sometimes shit happens. Hopefully, you and your partner can work things out with a solid middle ground between silent treatment and yelling. Just talk things over. Let's spice things up with the topic of cooking. Who doesn't love a delicious home cooked meal? Some might assume that all Thai girls are going to cook you meals all the time. This isn't the case. When it comes to cooking, I truly believe this is on an individual basis, not a cultural one. I have dated girls in America that love to cook, and girls that have never cooked a meal in their life. The same goes for Thailand. There are girls that will not leave the kitchen, and girls that will never enter it. The one major difference I have found when it comes to cooking is the subject of grilling. In America, it's typically the man's job to be outside over the barbecue, grilling up all the fresh meats picked up from the butcher shop. Women will sometimes do the grilling, but it's rare. In Thailand, grilling is just another form of cooking. It's not specifically the man's job. If your significant other is one that likes to cook, and tonight's main course is grilled chicken, she won't ask or expect you to do the grilling. The grilling is just a form of cooking being used, so she will grill everything up. Remember, in Thailand, it's hot. Many times, people are cooking outside all the time. Houses don't have ovens, so grilling is one of the most common ways to cook up meats and fish in Thailand. How is your lady going to dress for a night out on the town? In America, girls will take their time getting ready, do their hair, apply makeup, and so on. When it comes to clothes, depending on where they are going, that will determine how they dress. If they are going to a club, fancy lounge, or special occasion, then they might get all dolled up in a dress and heels. On the other hand, if they are just attending a casual dinner and drinks at a pub with friends, they will most likely throw on a pair of jeans and a nice shirt. In Thailand, girls get dressed up like they are going to a New Year's Eve ball every night. It doesn't matter if they are going to a club, fancy lounge, or just a food market and beer bar. Thai women will get their hair done, do makeup, wear a dress, and put on some three-inch high heels. These girls are so accustomed to wearing high heels, I feel like they could run miles and do obstacle courses in them with no problems. I'm not saying that American girls don't dress nice. I'm just saying that Thai girls tend to dress to impress every single night, no matter where they are going. Shaving of the legs. 
In America, women typically start shaving their legs from a young age and then continue to do so throughout their entire life. In Thailand and other Southeast Asian countries, shaving your legs is not common. Almost no girls will shave their legs. I'm not sure if it's because they have never shaved or if it just runs in their genes, but most girls don't have hairy legs. If a girl does have any hair on her legs, it's typically just tiny, thin, colorless peach fuzz. You would never notice it or even feel it if you touch their legs. Actually, I find that their legs tend to be smoother than the legs of girls that shave on a regular basis. Also, just a quick FYI, armpits and other areas of the body that American women normally shave are also shaved by Thai girls. Legs are the only oddball out. Let's move on and talk about bugs, insects, spiders, creepy crawlers, whatever you want to call them. From my experiences in America, most girls want nothing to do with any type of bug that comes near them. This is not the case in Thailand. Due to Thailand's geographical location, it's hot, humid, tropical weather 365 days a year. This in turn becomes a breeding ground for some very interesting insects, from your two inch cockroaches to your one inch beetles. No matter where you are in Thailand, you're going to come across some type of creepy crawlers. With these girls being around these bugs their entire lives, it's just a normal, common occurrence for them. They don't get scared or shocked when they see a huge cockroach run across the room or a loud buzzing beetle flying in the house. Most girls will simply walk over to the insect, pick it up with their bare hand, and place the bug back outside. They will do everything they can not to harm or kill the bug. So, if you have a fear of insects, find yourself a Thai girl to come take care of you. Have no fear, your Thai girl is here. Finally, the sun. What about the sun? Many Thai girls don't like the sun. They will do anything in their power to avoid it. This means they will stay inside during the day, wear long sleeve shirts, wear sun hats, avoid beaches during the day, etc. The main reasons I have been told as to why they don't like the sun is because it's too hot and they don't want their skin to get more tan. Of course, just like in everything we have discussed, you will have a few girls that do enjoy the sun, the beaches, and don't care about how tan their skin gets. But most of them prefer to stay out of direct sunlight. In America, most girls are attracted to the sun. They want to lay out at the beach or pool all day. They will wear as little clothing as possible to avoid farmer's tan. They will even spend money on tanning salons to sit under fake suns. I think there should be a happy medium. Some sun is healthy for you, but it's not good to overdo it. Women, women, women. Can't live with them, can't live without them. Regardless of who you date, who you fall in love with, or who you choose to spend the rest of your life with, I hope the best to you and your partner. Be happy, smile, laugh, do what is best for the two of you, and enjoy this beautiful world that we live in. Choke D.